Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Chelsea and thank you so much for clicking on my video. As you can see from the title, we're gonna be installing a wig today. It's that one over there, I'm just gonna get it in a few. But I just wanted to show you guys what um, I got in my package. The wig is from BT Forever. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. The goodies that they sent me came in this little bag. They sent me quite a few goodies because they sent this around Christmas time. They also included some Christmas, Christmassy press on nails, um, but I already have nails on, so I don't, I'm not gonna use those. And then there's an edge band, which I will be using. Oh, it's really pretty and it's red as well. I'm gonna use that. This is another edge band, if I'm not wrong. A pair of lashes. Ooh, they're really dramatic. Okay, so the two different packs of wig caps that have two pieces in each. Ooh, okay, and then make a brush as well. Mm, mm. The wig came in this plastic bag that contains all the details for the wig. It's a 13 by four transparent lace wig. I'm gonna put the hair density somewhere over here. This is the hair that I'm gonna be installing. Oh man, you guys, look at this. Look at this stunning color. So I went ahead and bleached the knots, as you guys can see. I hope, I hope it's actually clear on camera, but I did go ahead and bleach the knots. I'm not sure the length of the wig. I'm gonna put that somewhere over here as well. This is what the wig looks like on the inside. It's got the two standard clips on the side, one at the bottom. It also has the adjustable band for you to secure your wig. Let's just get straight into the install. Just gonna try it on again. Just make sure it's the right fit for me. Are you guys ready? I'm going to look so good in this color. Oh my God, oh my God. This hair, because I bleached the knots and everything, I washed it, so this is after I've washed the hair and I can literally just, you know, run, run my fingers through without the hair tangling or anything. I've always used Got To Be and I decided to try the Wonderlace Bond, the Ebon Wonderlace Bond. And I've actually used it. I used this when I was in Kenya. It's quite hot there. And I really, really liked it. Like the hold is far much better than the Got To Be. So I definitely do prefer this. So this is what we're gonna use. What I prefer to do when I'm gluing down the wig, I prefer to spray the glue directly on my forehead because sometimes I find that when I, once I dry off the, the glue, even when I'd use the got to be, it would get all crusty and disgusting when I spray it on top of the lace. So I just prefer to do it this way. I feel like it's, it makes it a lot more secure. And this is how you do it anyway when you've got when you're doing it with an with actual hair glue. And just pull that on there. I'm gonna use an eyebrow razor to cut the lace. If I could just find it. I'm just doing it in a jagged motion to create a realistic hairline.
so at this point the wig is secure and we're just gonna go straight into curling the hair so here's the thing for some reason i find it really hard to curl the hair when it's on my head but this was actually not as hard as it was in the beginning so on this side i'm curling is it towards my face yeah towards my face not for any specific reason i just did um and then on the other side i ended up curling away from my face i also did a bit of layers you know just to give it some volume and i really wish i didn't comb through this curls because now the curls are not as full and voluminous as i'd prefer because i feel like my face just looks better when the hair is a lot fuller but that being said it's still fine just going ahead to do some baby hairs some tiny baby hairs just just something basic on one side so as you guys can see um i ended up going with a side part but i really feel like i'm a middle part i'm a middle part girl i don't know i just feel like side part just doesn't suit my face that much but it's fine it's whatever i still look good so as always going in with my care care wax stick to tame down the flyaways and when i'm using the hot comb i really make sure to press into the hair to make sure the heat is getting through all the layers of the hair and that just helps it to remain flat i mean you get tell me i don't look stunning with these curls this is the bit where i'm telling you guys i shouldn't have combed it because i just it looks so much better when it was a lot fuller but anyway i didn't realize that until i looked at the footage still nailed it um i still look good man just look at this i love this color so so much it brightens my face up it just complements my skin and the quality of the hair is stunning as well oh did i mention it was 24 inches the hair is 24 inches transparent lace i feel like i'm getting a lot better working with this transparent laces and um yeah let me know if you guys love this install it was so quick straight to the point i did not struggle at all with this hair at any single point so as always i'm gonna leave all the details in the description box thank you so much to bt forever for sponsoring this video if you guys get a unit for yourself let me know and as always i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye